Ladies, gentlemen, punters, and welcome back once again to the 18th Asian Roller Games from Namwon City in South Korea. Taking you uh, through the tournament as we've uh, been catching the highlights uh, through the uh, Facebook feed as we've been seeing it. Chinese Taipei on Saturday, the first day of the uh, the opening round of this tournament. Uh, Australia coming out 7-4 on top of that one. Great game. Uh, it was a bit more of a practice match for the Australian camp as they were thinking about it but, um, because their worry was realistically on Sunday morning, the uh, the game against Japan at uh, Australia ended up coming out on top on that one, 4-1, which is a great effort by the Australian team. The J- Japan had them worried for a little while at the half-time mark with uh, 2-0 on the scoreboard, so Australia coming out uh, well and truly on top of that game. India this morning had me worried when we were talking in the commentary last night, but um, ended up being a little bit of a walk in the park uh, late in the, uh, the game for Australia, coming out on top 5-1 in that match, which brings us to tonight, China. Uh, I've, I've checked up on the Ladbrokes app. They're not taking any bets on this game at the moment. Um, like I was talking about last night, I'm not really sure what's happening here. But um, it's going to be very interesting to see how China is going to go. Um, and uh, we've got our man from Drew Media there. Um, Drew Media, thank you very much for bringing up their, um, uh, their uh, electricery and uh, interweb wizardry for actually bringing this broadcast to you in collaboration with Roller Hockey Australia and our name sponsor, Joss Sport. Um, Al, Andrew is the man from Drew Media down in the field. Um, how are things looking there, Al? Hi everybody, yeah, hi, this is great, yeah, everything is awesome, brother, the team is so focused, as I, I just say that all the time because that's really the truth of the matter, um, every game is very serious and uh, yeah, the vibe is good, the guys had a great game against India, um, they're very happy with that result, but then like we've been discussing this whole time we've been here in uh, Nam Wong, it's about uh, just coming back to the drawing board, and regrouping and taking it very seriously. Every game is treated as a final. Exactly right, Al. And um, yeah, it's great to see the boys coming up. Uh, the uh, the buzz that I've been getting through the social media channels is that, that the boys are really exciting. The atmosphere is electric um, for the Australian camp, and um, they'll be uh, feeling uh, pretty fresh and revitalised. I'm going three one into this game at the moment, or three nil, I should say, in this series, um, fronting up to China. But um, I'd just like to take a moment. I've um, been joined in the Melbourne studio by a uh, international player and referee. Now, uh, unfortunately, I can't tell you who it is because uh, I'm a bit worried about international bias when we go to Barcelona next year. Um, and I uh, haven't had anything back from his working with Children Check yet at this point. So I can't <laughs> tell you who it is, and I can't put you on the microphone. So uh, we're just going to refer to him as the stick at this okay. point in time. So um, oh, we'll, uh, we'll be looking for indication from the stick throughout the game to um, get his angle on the adjudications that are going out on the floor at the moment. Um, he's here. He's got the white pants on, the yellow shirt. The uh, the mouth has been taped up because, like I said, he can't talk. Um, so there is no whistle in it. So I'll be um, looking at his frantic um, signals there as a referee to um, tell me what's going on from the side oh, of the game. Excellent. And so, so it's great to have him here. And, um, yeah, thank you to the stick. Oh. And he, waving at everyone. Thank you very much for uh, turning up to the Melbourne thank studio. You. But um, also looking ahead a little bit tomorrow, Wednesday, we've also got a break tomorrow. We've got Macau and we've also got uh, New Zealand coming up Thursday. Going to be great games. But um, we're also seeing the boys warming up on the floor to focus a bit more on the uh, game that we're going to be seeing here tonight. China, unknown quantity as far as I'm concerned. I'm interested to have a look and see what they're, they're like. Um, I just don't know what to say. I don't know where to go with that China, I'm afraid, Alistair. Um, uh, well, but I'm, I'm trying to work hard with these guys. What are they important? looking like? Well, there you go. You can see them right now. I think it's ah, important. Fantastic. I think every team just cannot be um, underestimated. Uh, I think it's important to also just remember that, you know, China, it's a more mature, a more mature team than the other players that we've seen. Uh, and they're, they're not small guys. But again, it's a mixed bag of talent in the Chinese uh, squad. Uh, <laughs> They're, they're, um, you know, they're some inline players, and you know, it's difficult for me to comment. Let's, because you know, they're a wild card. You know, you never know what can happen. Absolutely, and I think they're going to be a team to watch. In that uh, China, when they put their mind to something, they really, actually, uh, really dedicate uh, a lot of resources to it, and they uh, get some determination going up on a, a national front, as we've seen through um, throughout the Olympic sports, of course, um, throughout uh, the many Olympiads that there have been. Um, so, yeah, I'm really excited to see how this game's going to go. It's obviously going to be a bit of a fresh start for them, potentially, um, yep. from what we're seeing. It, like you're talking about, a mixture of new and old and different disciplines. So, I'm uh, yeah, excited to have a look at the game. It's going to be very interesting. And we're just seeing in the images there, Steve Howie at the moment, encouraging the guys at the moment, making uh, a few comments out on the floor. Yep, seems to be okay. Yeah, come on, boys. Yeah, you're talking to each other. It's great. We're seeing those sorts of things. Uh, yeah, public scene is... there, there as well. We've got Alicia, their team physio, and uh, Masua there as well. 
young rookie Ash Clee in the uh, the red uh, Guernsey there at the moment, having a bit of a practice back there at the floor. Juan Pablo and Lee Glass in the distance, of course. Uh, big Bevan Hurley there as well, just passing away down the floor at the minute. We're seeing on screen who we've got that um, James Murray just skating past the screen at the moment. So boys regrouping at the moment. Um, and we'll be taking some last minute instructions from Steve. Can we take and, a look uh, at the first five there quickly? Shane? Absolutely. No worries at all. A bit of a different lineup tonight. We've got there, Alistair. Um, Lee Glass is going to be the ninja in the cage. We've got Jordy Poblet, um, James Murray, uh, Carlos Fernandez, and Bevan Hurley as the starting lineup. So, um, yeah, I think we've um, a, f- a fair floor, a fair floor, I and mean, it's uh, a bit of neutral. And it, um, we may see uh, Ashley come out on the floor, depending on what we see tonight. Um, the young boy's been taken and dragged out from the junior ranks by the scruff of the neck, thrown into the, the big man's league um, just to see what it's like. In that, um, yeah, a lot of development has been going working with the junior players to bring them on. So uh, this is all part of the Australian program, as long with New Zealanders, which we'll talk about later in the week. But um, yeah, I'm excited to see how the starting floor is going to go. I think it's been very good to see how Ash has just been uh, embracing the whole thing, Shane. Um, he's just been quietly sitting in the back, listening, watching, observing, having good one-on-one sessions with Steve and Fadio. It's just really encouraging to see how you know the system of roller hockey Australia is really working, taking the players under their wing, developing them, and you know that's what it's all about, you know. Absolutely, and um, absolutely enjoying the hockey at the local level as well. We've seen some fantastic. Um, under 14s that are playing I go. under 17s and um, it will be no worries Alistair thank you very much for your time I really appreciate the efforts there um, Drew Media crew Alistair Andrew will join Alistair later on in the uh, broadcast but uh, getting back to the actual cold as we're seeing it here on the screen at the moment um, just to finish off talking about dear players junior players playing up and we're seeing the same thing here at the moment the junior players being dragged into the international seniors tournament to give them a look give them a taste of the top fuel and see what it's all about waiting for the salute their referees in position at the moment there's the whistle for the salute. Australian and Chinese team saluting the crowd that's there. Waiting for the handshake. A mixture of young and experienced players there in the Australian camp. A good mixture of youth and strength. A bit of information uh, yesterday, Cameron Bowen there, we are receiving the blue card. Um, information with the back channel is that... Um, well, he's a little bit lippy with the referee um, in the last game, and so um, he was um, shown the card and uh, sent off the floor for his two minutes. So um, I believe there will have been discussions in the uh, the team camp and uh, the team management regards that incident. So um, and admittedly, do blue cards do happen, but however, um, you know, back chatting the referees is uh, under the rulings these days is a no go instant blue card. So take note, young kids that have got a little bit of fire. Yep, so you get the call. No, it's accept and nod and play on. So um, the crowd um, getting excited now. We're seeing the Australian camp coming back out on the floor after a little huddle there. China in position, ready to play hockey right at this moment. Big smiles on their faces at the moment. They're keen to play. Australian camp taking this seriously. Nervous moments at the moment. And there's the ball. The ref has it nearly in position there. Onto the spot. It is now the ball of China. Ready for the tee-off. In second, there's the whistle, and off they go, passing back. You see the strategy of the Chinese team. See how we're going to work. See if Australia's going to get more space like they uh, did India in the last game. There it is. So it's Australia's ball at the moment, charging down the floor, looking good. Australia just taking the time, out of it, pacing out the Chinese to see where they're at. They're forcing into the corner of the, after the attempt of goal, and that Australia's ball still, as you can see, passing back into the defensive area. Bevan Hurley, the big back man. Playing a uh, fantastic uh, backman role there, Bevan has been throughout this tournament. Carlos Fernandez, we're seeing Juan Pablo having a long distance strike at goal. No joy there, unfortunately. You see what's going on in the corner there. It's a bit of a tussle. It's Australia's ball at this point in time. Coming back into the Australian defensive area, ready to regroup, regroup for another attack. Carlos Fernandez having another go, passing it off, as we can see, onto the uh, flank area on that wing position. They were circulating around, trying to give Australia a bit of space. Uh, inside of that halfway line. And it's, um, that can be valuable space depending on how much pressure you want to put on your opposition team. But, uh, as we saw from the Australian camp, they did give the, um, the Indians a bit more space to manoeuvre around in this area and China seems to be giving Australia even more space than what Australia offered them. So uh, it's uh, looking at the moment, just circling around, everybody's just testing each other, let's see how it's all going. China are not exactly sure what sort of a defence strategy they're going to be working at this point in time. It's looking like a, possibly a bit of a, a box defence at the moment. Um, 
We'll just uh, see how that develops as a game progresses. China now having possession of the ball. Long pass across the other side. It's wide. It's easily picked up once again by China. John, all a bit of a tussle there. He's, he falls over. He's picked up by Australia. It's a bit of a race at the moment. And the uh, China wins out on that one. Pass forward. There's the man. It's a bad pass at the moment. It's anybody's ball. The Lee Glass got attempted at the moment. Picked up by Australia. Looks like it's one Pablo there in the foreground. Picks it up on the long pass. Is having a look. No, going wide. Is he going to... No, he dummies it. And, uh, that shot in. It's China ball at the moment. Getting down the floor. Down the flank at the moment. He's going to try and zoom into the cage. No, he's a bit too deep and too wide. Lee Glass just padding it away on that attempt. Australia rebounding it off the ball. Passing it. It looks like um, look, who that is in this. Looks like Cameron Bump. Cutting for it. You know, you know, have a look through who it is in the fork. There we go. We've got uh, Juan Pablo there at the moment waiting for the pass. Looks like Bevan Hurley. Yep, there it is. Delivery man. Who's passing it off again to the other side of the floor at the moment. There's uh, James Murray. Bevan Hurley. Moment. Just have a bit of a look. Taking their time at the moment. But remember, they've got a 45 second shot clock. Australians have to have a go at the cage. As soon as it taps off the keeper, they have make an attempt at the, the, the clock resets. But now, there's Murray. He's getting in, going in to have a go. He's gone too deep, too wide. He's getting in behind the cage. What are going to do? He's going to do the tap. No, he's passing it back to the centre line. There it is. Passes across the other side. Intercept again. Pablo having a bit of a look inside. He's going to go around. He's going to have a go. There's the backhand coming in. No, no joy on that one. So picked up by Chong. China having an attempt to skate down the floor. A bit of resistance there at the moment from the straight. China being forced up against the wall at the moment. Trying to look for that man in the centre. Can't get the pass across. China still holding possession and pass it back. Bad pass there by the Chinese player at the moment. It was being packed up. Pick up the in the back line. There's the 10 seconds over the line. Australia's ball now, as called by the referee. Looking at the stick for adjudication on that one. Fair call, he says, on the time clock. Wasn't right. Ball again back in position, really straight. Play again. Murray holds the ball at the moment, having a bit of a look, see what's going on. Have a bit of a skate around. It's probably a little bit of pressure on. Let's pass it the line, see what happens. Let's have a bit of a look. Back in the centre circle, passing it off. Who we got in the foreground there? Looks like oh, oh, Carlos Fernandez, yes. The big man has a bit of a strike at the cage, patted away by the keeper. It's uh, Australia's ball in the corner, passes back to the centre wing. Back off to the other side. And a little bit of a chuck. James Murray there, looks like he's having an attempt. Bevan Hurley, big back man at the moment for this tournament, as I've been talking about. There's been the, uh, the, the stake in the back of the Australian onslaught. Back line. Oh, the big man has it shot at the cage. There's a pay dividend. Can we see what's going on here? <laughs> it has been called. The stick has signaled it. Yes, it is a goal. Goal for the Australian camp. Bevan Hurley paying dividends on that one. Let's have a look at the replay as Alistair is delivering it to us. There it is. He winds up. There's the big shot. It comes through. There's the net. It shakes. The Chinese are terrified. Fantastic effort by the Australian camp. Great to see. It. Too much excitement. I can't handle it. The Australian camp, one up, one up in this game so far. China has possession of the ball once again. But trying to go, trying to get some ground. The Australian camp is trying to put more pressure on at the moment. Here on the screen. Australia's working hard to uh, the Chinese have that to counter attack. Has been blown there. We can't quite see what the is not at the moment. It's like a uh, play by the ball referees as we've seen it. Great ball. No passes the wall as we can see. If you're looking through that gate. Work in the back right. Up and forth. Passing blocks. Having a new camp. Come back to the centre. Once again. Once again. So we're getting a little bit. In the Melbourne studio. We're trying to keep on top of this. So, um, He's uh, the play as it at the moment. Australian circling around. Haven't looked down the barrier side at the moment. Passing from one side to the neck. Looking back to that centre. There's the centre circle. Kept really have to look down the Might pass back to that centre circle again. Keep working it. 45 seconds. Got to be winding down by now. Have a shot. It's picked up by China. China having a bit of a skate down the floor. See what they can do. See what they can deliver. Is there a man on the cage? No. It's by Australia on a bad pass. But there it is, the long pass down the floor. It's not out by Chandler. Have it all the way around the back of the net. In the, in the court, going to come out. And he's, what are they going to do? Swap over? No, they're going to come around the back. And they're going to pass back to that centre line as well. Uh, reset the game. Jeremy's Murray on that ball. Passing into that uh, midfield area at the moment on, this, on the wall. 
Could have skated around the scene, had to have a go. No, it doesn't pay off, unfortunately. Trump gets the rebound on the coming. Having a level look. They wind up for the slap shot. There it is, bang. That you just seen what's going on there. A little, see, a little bit of a delay there at the images that we're seeing. I know it's that is China's ball time the shot that's been picked up by the Australian as we're seeing on the screen. It is back to the cage the cage from what we can see just as much at the moment. Australia is starting working that back one hard. They're not taking that so much of an advance at the moment. Uh, taking the advantage of the of the one goal up at the moment. China having possession of the ball at the end. And uh, a little bit more relaxed. They put pressure on initially on the China after scoring that first goal, but um, not allowing them to have that retaliation goal of course. And uh, it's paid off at the Australian camp. Actually, quite uh, defensive at this point in time. And actually, having a few goes. Juan Pablo having a bit of a strike at the cage doesn't pay off. You can see here. There's having another go or skirting it. Can't leave it. That is at this point in time. But they're rebounding off the wall at the moment. Fernandez misses the intercept. There it is. Pablo passing it back. And there'll be Hurley, I'd expect, is down there, the back man. And we're seeing this heading around. China's position at this point in time. What they're going to do with it straight. They're well up at the moment. Trying to, oh, Pablo intercepts, almost pulls it off. Trying to have what we can see here on the screen at the moment. It was pass intercepted by the Australian player, but China is uh, still able to maintain control of possession of that ball as we see it. They're hard up against the ball, they can call. China is desperate to try and get it. There's green and gold all over the place at the moment for China. They're having a little bit of trying to get out of the ball. Possession once again. Having a bit of a skate. There's only two players on the side, too deep, too wide. Bevan Hurley comes back around again. It's intercepted by China. China skating down the floor, having a bit of a go at it. There's a long pass. It didn't able to be intercepted. It goes back. China having a bit of a go at it, but too wide and too deep. Lovely glass just uh, barely having to move and depend on that one, I guess. You can see China still having this ball at the moment. But, oh, there has a go at the cage. No joy there, unfortunately. Picked up by Australia. Bevan Hurley having another go. No joy. Oh, there's a, there's like a skull scored. Yes, well done for the Australian camp. We're just managing to see these images coming through on the stream at the moment. Fantastic effort by Australia. Awesome. Well done to the Australian camp. So it's uh, China not being quite so the uh, formidable uh, opponent that uh, I thought we may have been. It's um, enjoying this great hockey all the same. We're uh, seeing the highlights here. There it is. It's part there in front of cage. Rebounds off. Great work. Great work by the Australian camp. As we can see there, just there in front of us is uh, the rookie Ash Glee on the floor at the moment. Nice to see Ash out on the floor, cutting his teeth there in the senior league. You see in front of the screen there at the moment, you see James Murray. He's going to the centre circle, pass is picked up by, by Bevan Glee. He goes in, has a slap shot, can't pull it off. It's a tussle in the corner. Who's winning out on that one? Who's in there? It's James Murray against China. He's walking around. Yes, he gets around him. He manages to get back to the back line. Bevan Hurley in front of the screen at the moment. Passes long across to the other wing position, centre wing position. Clee having a bit of a skating. Passes off to Hurley. Hurley from the centre circle off to the other wing. Clee in position, waiting for the pass off. There it is to him. He's going to go in and has a look. What's he going to do? Passes off once again. Australian can work in this figure eight at the moment. He's taking their time. Have look. Clee does a bit of a turnaround. Can he pull it off? Passes off down the wall to the... To, uh, <laughs> he's not opponent. That's normally an easy opponent. But his fellow player, I should say, from the Australian camp, Clee pushed hard in the corner up against China at the moment. There is he trying to pull the kiss my ass. There it is. He's, he tried it at the moment, but China wasn't going to bow down and take it. So uh, there it is, back on the centre line again. Bevan Hurley having a bit of a look. There's a big wind up. Does he pay off? No, it isn't. It's back on to the other side. Pablo picked up, intercepted by Clee, passes off to Murray in the centre circle. Murray having a bit of a drift across, having a look for the wing position. He's going to pass it down the. Down the centre line. No, he's back to his mate in the centre circles. Going through Kevin Hurley. Then we're off to Clee again on the uh, the ball at this point in time. We're trying to put in a little bit of pressure on the young fella. But uh, Clee not buckling to it whatsoever. There he goes. Hurley having another bit of a look in. He's going to go for a skate. A bit of skate around. Pablo have, providing a bit of uh, shielding there, but not in the, in the rules, but good enough. Pass. There was a bit of a tussle in the corner. The young fella's been pushed into the ball. And the referees have called a stick. Fair call by the stick. Yep, the stick's not. It just is the difference with that. Australia's ball. The young kid takes it off. There it is. Back in play once again. Hurley across to Pobla. Back. Oh, nice to see him. 
Back out there, Geordie Poplett. Clee passing it off to Bevan early. Back to Poplett. We're seeing a frozen action there. There is Clee having a look. Uh, back to Poplett once more, circling around, having a bit of a look. Down the line. Who's down there? Clee once more, having a bit of a pop at the cage. Can't get it in. Referee's called. They're looking at the stick. What do you see there? The stick, uh, stick uh, just uh, nodding. Not sure what's going on there. We'll have to wait. To, he wants to adjudicate with the other referees himself. I can see getting up and walking towards the television. But, um, the young fella is going to have a go. It is a penalty shot. Must have been a foul conceded there. Wow. This is a big, big effort. This is going to be the moment for the junior. How will he go? Will he succumb to the pressure? Here it is. The the boy setting himself up, keeper, getting himself in the cage. It'll be his first international goal if he does score this one. Is he going? Has he go? Oh, ho, ho, ho. disappointing for the young Australian. He doesn't pull it off. Great effort by the junior, though, all the same. It's in their play. There's James Murray. He's back on the ball once more. Poblet, have a bit of a look. Got to keep playing hockey. There's more hockey to be played here against China. Four goals to be scored yet. There is the midfield position out on the flank, up against the wall as I... There, yeah, Poblet back on the other flank there, back to the centre circle. Hurley, I think, playing with the ball backwards and forwards. Cat and mouse game, what I call the Liz Port V, backwards and forwards. Let's just tease these boys. Let's see what China are going to do. Are they going to flinch? Are they going to lunge at us? Let's go, keep looking at it backwards. Let's look for the chink in the armour. Where's the gap? Where can we scoot in? Poblet having a bit of a look around the back of the cage. Will he do the lift and prop? No, he won't. He's just going to pass it off and he's going to scoot into business in front of the cage, waiting for the pass. No, it goes back to the centre circle once again. Passed off. Clee, Clee, back to the centre circle. Hurley, Clee. Down the wall, Poblet, Poblet, please, skating in front of the cage, looking for that pass from Poblet. Can he pull it off? No, too much experience by China. Having to reset himself, what's he going to do? He's going to pass it off. No, it goes back to the home position. Hurley, having to go for the centre circle, padded away by the Chinese keeper easily. At the moment, who's that behind the cage at the moment? Bit of pressure from China. Just right, he keeps the ball, it's passed back to that defensive centre circle position at the moment. Hurley on it. Starting back into that V formation, passing again. It's Clee. It's back to Hurley. Back to Clee again. Clee had decided it. It's wide. It's picked up by Poblet on the other side. They pass it into the centre circle. Murray not able to pull it off. Welcome to a bit of a tussle in front of the cage here. There's players all over the place at the moment. The referee's playing call on at the moment. Everybody's grabbing his fist, picking themselves up off the ground. Face-off has been called by the referee. And uh, we're seeing a, a situation. The keeper's glove has been lost over there. Thank you, the stick, for pointing that one out. Uh, much appreciated. The uh, the extra hair, pair of hands in the studio here in the, this evening for this fantastic game we're witnessing against China, 18th Asian roller games. And the feed off again. The back in play up that face off. Whose ball is it at the moment? We're trying to get folks back on screen again. It's Australia's ball, as you'd expect. There it is. Clee. Back to Hurley. Clee. Hurley. Clee. Once again. Fast passing. There it is. The skating towards the centre. Pass into the corner. The pop. That's Pablo. It's going to be looking to pass it in. No, he doesn't. It's off back to the opposite side on the flank, as we call it. There it is. Backwards again to the centre circle. Back off to Clee in that flank position. Poblet's there in the mess at the moment. He turns and has a bit of a go at it. It's a straight player. It's a Pablo having a bit of a look, see if he can pick up on the crumbs. John has the ball at the moment, scooting back in front of the past their cage. Pablo there just to put a little bit of pressure on, make sure that they know Australia's still in this game at the moment and not uh, just uh, languishing back there at the yes. Australia's coming out hard each, out of each one of these tussles. Fleet passes long over to Hurley. Hurley having to get pressure in it, but put the both his opponent at the moment. China not giving up on that tussle there. Hurley being thrown to the ground at this point in time. We can't see what's happening on the cage. I'm looking at the stick. The stick can't see anything. No, he, uh, he will call it as the referees see it on the floor. Uh, Bevan won't be happy about that. He's, he's a big man. He doesn't like to go down and he doesn't take lightly. Uh, yeah, he's like, he doesn't get mad. He gets even. And we'll be uh, looking for a, a little bit of uh, temperament, though, from the Australian campo. We've already uh, seen a, a blue car come out for um, getting a bit lippy with the referee. So we'll, the instructions will be for the boys to tone it down. There's the pass to Poblet for the uh, start of play once again. Murray. Passes Lee. Back to Murray again. Back to the, bit of a look. Lee, who's going to flinch from the China camp? Back to the other side, Poblet. Back to the centre circle once again with Murray. Clee, he's going to go and have a look. What's he going to do? He's, as he can't quite see here at the moment. Australia still has possession of the ball at the moment. Hurley passing back to Murray. Murray down the wall at the moment to Poblet. Front of the cage at the moment. Who's there to intercept? Clee was there. Couldn't get a stick on too much interference from China. They have the ball at the moment. All dribbles around Hurley at this point in time. But, uh, a bit of a, a swipe slash there. It could have been considered a foul by the ref. But uh, we can't see the foul board at this point in time. China still have the ball at the moment. 
they are really putting pressure on Pop there, right in their face at the moment. Not giving them an inch at this point in time. So he's playing the man-on-man full on uh, move at this strategy as we, as we can see at the moment. I'm, I'm getting my words confused. I'm getting too excited at the moment. Here it is. There's the score as we can see it at the moment on the scoreboard. Thank you very much to Al there at Drew Media. And the boys having another crack at the cage once more. And the referee has called it. He's waving at it. What's the stick say? No, the stick's nodding. With in agreement at this point in time. Yes, the referee is calling for the play to be returned. Just the foul count there. It's a two to nil. Now, Australia will be possibly asking for their three metres back. And the referee, not seeing the referees coming into this position at this point in time. They are referred to as indirect. They are, it has to be touched and passed to somebody else. Can be made in the cage. So here we go back again. The um, the, the stick, uh, trying to give me some indication there, but it's just a uh, I'm, I'm game. Stick letting it. He's not happy. He will be giving me a lesson later on. Poblet passing down the wall at the moment. Looks like Murray back to the centre circle with Poblet, and back down in Pablo. Who's no? It's Murray. There's Poblet going in the centre. Have a bit of a look. There's there's also the Clee rookie there in there as well, making sure he's going to pick up some crumbs if there's any available. Poblet, a bit of a look, tussling around at the moment, fighting for the possession of the ball at the moment. Who are we seeing in the corners? China at minute. Pablo putting the pressure on him. The, uh, not a good pass, picked up by Murray. Murray to uh, Pablo. Pablo's falling, tripping over the place. Can't touch the ball while you're on the floor. The, so it's China's ball at the moment. Chaser, scooting down. Corner, Australia put the pressure on China's ball at the moment. It's in a, it's, Australia really put the pressure on China at the moment. They do not want them to have it. Murray coming into front of screen. Long pass over the place. There it is. He's going to have a go. He's going to wind up. Is he going to have the shot at the cage? He tries to have a go, but can't pull it off. Lee having another go. Stuck in the corner. Passes long back to the centre line. Picked up by Poblet. Poblet having a look down the wall. And there's the Klee in the front of the cage. There's two players now set up ready for the cage. One skating back into, into a defensive position ready at its centre circle for the pass back. Just players will be circulating in front of the cage. There's a the big wind up. There's a shot. Oh, yes, the big bomber from the back line. Who is that? We can't see who it is. Who scored that one goal there? I'm looking at the stick. It is Juan Pablo has scored that one, the big bomber from the back. Line. And we're looking at the replay. Here it is. Poblet has ball at the moment. Goes to have a bit of a dribble. Looking, looking. There, there. He's going around the back of the cage. He's look, look, indicating. There it is. Where are you, boys? Where are you, boys? It's coming. And there is the pass. And having a bit of a look back to the next player. And a long shot. There it is. Lines up. There's clear space between him and the keeper. Let's go for it. Pays dividends for this cup. And there's there in front of the screen, as you see at the moment. Play the ball back in play once again. So who there's in what Poblet. Just there at the screen at the moment. Skating back in. We have Murray there in front at the moment. Poblet position the ball. Looks like he has a bit of a, uh, a slap shot at the cage. Doesn't pay off, unfortunately. Pat away by the front of the Trying to... China's ball at this point in time. Bouncing off the ball, passing it down the ball, into then stuck in that corner at the moment. Australia put the pressure on them. They're trying to, trying to get out, trying to get a, their goal line at the moment. There's nobody to pass to at the moment. Australia easily picking up on the crumbs of that attempt from China. Who is it skating in there at the moment? It looks like it's at uh, Pablo. Has a bit of a flick out the cage. Doesn't pay off. Had away by China. Australia's book ball. Picking up on the crumbs of that goal that's there at the moment. Who's that bet? The bet behind the cage. Looks like Murray. Poblet having a wind up. He goes at the cage, batted away by the keeper. No joy there. Australia is still working out, keeping possession of the ball. Eve on the rebounds of every one of these goals have been shooting. Next man scooting into the middle. Can't see who that was. Oh, there's another go at the goal. The next man skating in for the loose ball. Looks like Murray was going in for the second shot. Poblet stuck in the corner. What's he going to do? Is he going to try and skate around? Is he going to try and pass it back along? There it is. It's Pablo. He's winding up in front. Oh, yes. There it is. Again. When you think it's got the ball, China would have been thinking going back into a defensive, passing it back. But there's the loose man, bang, cracks it in like a cannonball. Fantastic, it just set up, sets up the play beautifully. Well done to the Australian camp. Great effort there. Just to see that obviously the strategies that um, Steve has been talking about with the team has been paying off dividends. Um, we're seeing the replay now at the moment. See that we are the act coming up to that pass goal that's been scored. Oh, that was actually saw the uh, bit of a Oh, there, there's the deflection from the uh, shot from, uh, from Murray having a grow at the cage. It's rebounded back. There's Pablo. You can see him in the distance there at the moment. He's right in front of screen, number two, looking for the pass. There, he's going back. He's going back. He's waiting for the pass out. There's Poplet. He's seen him. 
guessing that he's there. There he is. He's seen him. Now, bang! It's in. Fantastic work by the Australians, and it is a team effort. Not one into the Fantastic. It's a team effort by the Australian camp, and they worked hard in their deserving of this win. Paul back in play once more. We're seeing it looks like a Pablo or Hurley. Long pass up to the uh, the forward effect area for the straight um, Fernandez skating in front of the cage, looking for that pass. He's a bit too quick. Um, passes back to the centre line. Poblet. Is, uh, oh, goes in for the dribble. He passes off. He's looking for the one-two in front of the cage. Doesn't come off, unfortunately. Murray there who's trying to deliver the pain for China. Uh, Poblet. Uh, Pablo having a bit of a look. Passes back to Poblet. Poblet can't get uh, through. He's got too much pressure on him. Fernandez. Having a bit of a skate around. Having a bit of a look. He's going to go down the side. Skating in centre of the cage, having a look, setting himself in position, ready for that pass, Pops, is it coming through? No, it's not, he's at the back of the cage, ready to pop him out, what are we, back of the cage, where he can go lock in the defensive area, there he is, Berkey backs forward, Poblet's got the ball at the moment, trying to dribble around, trying to, Poblet's up there, and just skating through at the moment, picking up the crumbs at, Murray, working for the centre circle, back off to Poblet, skating through the man that's coming from Australia, front of the cage, got to pay off, there it is, it's the ball, loose ball is there, Poblet gets on top of it. He can't get a clean shot at it, unfortunately. Picked up by China. Got a bit of escape. Haven't had much time on the ball at all, China. Now, they seem to be a little bit out of this game at this point in time. They're there, but, um, they uh, don't seem to be actually having much time on the ball. Referee has called the moment, and that will be half time. What a timeout, as we're seeing, I expect. Yeah, first timeout we're seeing here on the scoreboard. As, uh, and we'll look at I was worried. Um, the stick, um, looking at a facial expression, was the stick worried coming into this game against China? Uh, he's, he's giving me the two fingers. He's saying face off at this point in time. So I'll take that. He really wasn't sure either. He was a little bit scared. But um, it's in great form. Nice to see the young uh, lad, Ash Clee, back out on the floor. Still part of the Australian uh, plan of developing the younger players getting used to playing international tournaments, so they're not the deer in the headlock that actually becomes uh, their shining day of um, being out there and being one of the, uh, the more strategic key, one of the top no, the starting floor players out there. So it's great to see local level, international level, uh, the, the young kids being developed and, and put up uh, a brighter future for roller hockey. And developing, um, as it goes, like I say, get on the Roller Hockey Australia website, um, get on the Facebook page, find your local rink, get the skates on, go for a skate. And we're looking to get back into the play at the moment. Uh, the buzzer has gone off again. The um, Australian camp will be coming back out on the floor, as we can see on the screen there. Uh, Pup leading the boys down the floor, looking at Hurley, Fernandez, and we have Poblet just following up the floor, down the floor at the moment. Just uh, waiting for the, uh, the game to come back into play. We're waiting for the Chinese camp. There they are on the floor, set position at the moment. Camera folks on the ball. There's the action ready to start. There's the whistle. We're back in play once more. Fernandez having a bit of a skate. China giving Australia a bit of room. Having a bit of a skate around. Giving them lots of space, the Chinese are at the moment. Tending to pull the peg into a circle. Doing the, uh, what looks like to be a box formation there. And the, uh, the referees have called it. I expect that will be a high ball as called. The stick is calling high ball. Oh, a bit of a tussle there. The Australian camp have run in. They've tried to steal the moment from China. But um, trying to have possession of the ball. It looks like Pablo is up against the floor. Hopefully he has hurt himself. Got to get back into this game at the moment. Can't work with three players. That makes China, Australia open for the onslaught from China. What's happening? Is he back? There he is. Pablo not to be let down. He's back on the man. And he's back on the ball once again. The referee has called the situation. Stick, stick can't see at the moment. He's not seeing what the referees are seeing. There it's China's ball. Start of play. They fumble at the moment. With a couple of people that get 10 seconds back to the line. Back to the other plane on the, from behind the cage. China got to get it back over for 10 seconds. There it is to their other man. Now they have five seconds to keep it back up behind once more. And that five seconds run down. Then that all from the referees whistle again. You know, the stick is in agreement with that call. Waiting for Australia to bring it back into play once more. There it is, Fernandez passing along across the other side of the floor as we step. There's Hurley, Poplet skating down into the corner as we see him going, saw him going out of screen. Scanning behind the cage. Having a bit of look, going back to Pablo. Pablo having a bit, getting forward of the scoring line and uh, carrying that ball along. Back in flick. It's a pass to Pablo. It doesn't get trying to pick up the crumbs of that one. Passing across the floor. China, trying, trying to penetrate in. It just seems to be something. Can't get a pass straight into the There's Pablo. See it on the stick. 
at the moment. Parcels off to Fernandez, as I can see it. There's the classic one, two in the cage. Are we seeing it? Yes, it is. It's high fives from the Australian camp. Pablo and, and uh, Poblet. Fantastic. The two Ps scoring another fantastic goal there for the Australian camp. Great work by the Australian team. And the strategies that we're seeing here, we've seen it at the local level and we're seeing it now. The, uh, the players that have been put into place are just working through all the Australian camp at this point in time. Great work. Great work. And uh, all those training camps and uh, all the drills that have been, the Australian camp have been doing in the lead-up tournament are paying up. Great great players. We're seeing it there at the moment. Just a slant. Just great work by the two players. Say, no man is an island. This is what you have to play as a team. Great work by the Australian team, call them. And they are, really are a team. Trying to get fancy is popular. It's on at the moment. Please back on the floor once more. We're picking up the crumbs at the moment. Hard up against Barry, deep in the corner. Passes it back to the centre wing. Fernandez, back to Clee. Clee having a skate back. Passes it up long across to the other side. Early picking it up. Early having a bit of a look. Going skating back into the set. So she passes to Clee, the other side. And then it's going, to go, it's going to go down the line. Going to pass off to his teammate deep in the corner behind the cage. Pop it out. Here, Fernandez. Back to Hurley. Hurley dribbling it back over the line in once more. Hurley having a bit of getting a bit of steam up. What's he going to do? He's going to escape behind the cage. What's he going to come up with? He's passing it off to Fernandez. There's the flick in front of the cage. There's the man there. No, he's not. Can't get a stick on it. Right in camp. Bit of pressure on there from China. Fernandez trying to get it out on top. Comes out on top. Passes it long back to the centre line. Centre line. There's the big bomber from the back line. Doesn't pay off. China keeping that one out. There's Clee having a bit of a tussle with the ball against China. Don't give him the space. Who's coming out on top? The two green and gold. Fernandez and Clee on top. China wins out on the battle at the moment. There's Clee providing a bit of extra pressure on China. Not working on the man on man strategy at this point in time. I think the Australian camp are by the look of this play. Hurley having a go. Passing it long down the wall as we can see. There's Poblet. Has passes across and comes to the cage. Clee can't pick it up. He's too wide at this point in time and a little bit too fast and deep. It's passed back to the centre circle. Hurley having a bit of a look. Charging around in the circle of the motion towards the cage. And we can hear the air after his whistle. He scores yet again. Yes. Bevan Hurley saluting to the camera, saying thank you to the folks home. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thanks for coming. Great work by the Australian camp once again. Uh, great players. We're seeing um, Australia just circling the road and trying some, uh, not some, maybe not so much adventurous plays, but old plays that they know work well. And uh, great effort from this camp. Nice to see the rookie out there playing a bit of a uh, hockey out there as well. China teeing off once again for the start of the game. Starting in section. Australia. China desperate to hold, hold possession of this ball. Straight really pressure on China, as you can see uh, early in the area. And no players are going through the centre. China giving up the ball at the moment. Klee passing it lock off to the wing, centre wing. Poblet having a bit of a skate in. Back towards the centre. Passes off to the other side. Can't see it. Not quite in camera at home. There's Poblet in the centre. Dangerous man there. A bit too deep though from the scoring position in front of the cage. Early. Early passing along. There's Poplet looking for the one two. But doesn't get it in front of the, uh, the cage area at the moment. Just working in China. Too much of a defensive at the moment. But um, Australia will be trying to work it. That opportunity to get the, hand of the cage from its scoring position. But uh, can't take too long of these things. You've only got 45 seconds to uh, have a shot at the cage before it gets turned over. Poplet. There, oh, there's the danger position right there. There's the pass in front of the man from the cage. Doesn't come off with the Australian camp. Pass back along. Clee. Hurley. Back to Clee in the centre circle. Skating in. He's going to skate down the side. He's going to try and pull. What's he going to do? There's the wind up. He's going to have a go from the angle. Can't pull it off. It's China. Clee at the moment. Who's going to win out on this one? It is. Clee wins out on top. He's going to be looking for the passes. There's a bit of pressure on from China. He's going to skate around and skate through. Passing back long to the circle. Hurley picking it up. Having a bit of a look down the side as well. Back to the centre position. Poplet passes back to Hurley. He's going to skate in front of the cage. Has a go at it. There it is. There's another tap in front of the cage. Oh, it looked like it was Fernandez having a go back then. But uh, China's picked up crumbs without a goal attempt by Australia. Does the, uh, the spin off there on the Australian and, and manages to maintain the ball. China's still having it at the moment. Desperate moments for the Chinese camp. They've, uh, these are vital seconds. They're holding onto the ball. They haven't had it long. Australia just put two pressure on China. Fernandez coming at the top of that one on one battle. It's passed along to Poplet in front of the screen. He's going in. He's, oh, he's looking for that player who's crossed there. Clee was the, 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 a little bit too deep on the other side of the cage to get it off. China passing long wide to his own player. So he's picked up deep in the far corner. There's only the one minute 
seconds remaining on the clock at the time for this session. Poplet having a bit of a charge down the floor at the moment. He's having a look, he's like skating in, he's, he's going to get off. Oh, he's a lifted shot there, he's looking for Cleet to tap it in on the, uh, the cross bat. Can't pull it off. Goes back to the centre line position. Hurley passing it back off to uh, Clee. He's not touching there. He's looking behind him at the moment. Look at the play. Picks it up. Looks like Poblet. Passing it back. Hurley having another good. Running in. Running in. There's the big bomber shot. No, he makes it. He's looking to Clee. Pass to Clee in the centre. Can't get it clean. Unfortunately, too much China pressure at the time. China having the ball. Come back down the floor. Or oh, intercepted by Hurley. Oh, he nearly gets hold of it. Hurley does, but uh, trying to manage to hold it. But Hurley's put the pressure on all the same. If Hurley can take it off him, he's right there in front of the cage for an opportunity. That's what if you're looking for uh, Australia in a comfortable position at the moment. Oh, Australia just, uh, see that, just taking candy from a baby it was. And Hurley having to go and get it into the cage. Oh, he can't do the lift and flick. Can't pull it off this time. He's, he passes off the front hand of Poblet. Has a go with the cage. No, it's rebounded off. The, the uh, Chinese keeper looking a little bit pale there. The, uh, the Chinese uh, player having his st- stick stuck under the uh, arm of Klee. The uh, player appealing to what's going on there. Uh, we're having a look at the board at this point in time. 6 0. Dying second. Uh, 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 trapping the ball under the arm. Uh, the, uh, potentially looking at the, the stick's looking at me and going, huh, what the hell's going on here? What are you doing? <laughs> he's indicating. <laughs> There's a, it's a been called here. He's looking at it. He's, yes, now that's better. Yeah, the stick is now sat down again. He's not really like, he's back on the cup of tea once more again. He's got absolutely fantastic bounce. Australia versus Asian, Asian roller games. Poplet having a go on the ball at the moment. Fernandez, he's passed it back. But there's the end of the first session. Fantastic work by the Australian camp. Going and seeing this game. That's a uh, great work. 6 0 up. In the first half of this tournament, game in this uh, fourth game of the tournament, Asian Roller Games. And uh, thank you, you must say, to uh, Drew Media and the Drew Media crew. We've put on a broadcast here. Um, I'm a, it's absolutely proud to be a part of this uh, broadcast and in association with Roller Hockey Australia. Uh, without Roller Hockey Australia, without Drew Media, you wouldn't have this presentation being here. It's, um, it's been being all over the interweb right across the world as we speak right now. And of course, our name sponsor for the end, Josh Sport, and, um, and thank you very much for their involvement in roller hockey overall across Australia as well. So, um, seeing a great game here at the moment, and that, um, Alistair, uh, are you out there? Are you available to have a bit of a chat to it, see what the buzz is on the floor? No, it looks as though Alistair is busy at the moment trying to work on uh, technical stuff. Um, it's a uh, fantastic job that uh, the Drew crew are doing over there. It's uh, very tiring and strenuous. Um, I don't think the boys know anything about sleep or what that's called. It's to get from the aeroplane to uh, head back to Australia. They, uh, it's a uh, good time to camp. Uh, no comment at this point in time. Lee Glass, having I a very said. good time. Uh, Alistair, yes, you are with us. I am, indeed. How are you Fantastic. Uh, Hi, everyone. Great. I'm absolutely loving this game at the moment. Um, China doesn't seem to be in the picture much, but uh, Australians are not having that much of an easy game of it in that you could, if a, a lesser team, they'd be scoring probably twice as many. But trying to imagine to uh, some, amass some sort of defence. But um, yeah, like I was saying earlier, uh, Lee Glass is having a bit of a, an easy time in the cage and um, probably uh, sipping on his uh, latte as we speak. I think it's pretty much business as usual uh, for the squad. Um, it's not, it's not a refined Chinese team. I think that's fair to say. And uh, I think the guys have just had things that they wanted to achieve today, and they knew what they were working with. And they had a plan, and uh, yep, they're just pretty relaxed. Uh, let me try and zoom in here. The guys are really just taking it in their stride. It's really good to see. They're not. There's no tension out there at all. It's just, hey guys, try this. Let's try this move. We've got a chance to try a few things, you know. And uh, yeah, at six nil, <laughs> it's pretty much a no-brainer. I mean, anything could go wrong, right? But. <laughs> it's really at, can. at this stage, I think you know it, it's 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 going to plan, and that's the most important thing. It is going to plan now. I'm so you can see Steve there. He's looking pretty relaxed. Um, he'll be pretty chuffed uh, along with the uh, the boys on the team. You can see uh, Fernandez there and Hurley. Um, looks like they're having a bit of a chuckle there as um, a bit of a relaxed uh, chat there. Um, you can see the um, Murray and, and Clee there sitting in the uh, background there as well, as well as um, Alicia Hurley. But um, yeah, it's. Interesting game. I'm enjoying it, watching it all the same. Um, yeah, just watch out. Just watch out in future years to see what happens and see if China ends up going anywhere. This 
Um, but yeah, thoroughly enjoying the tournament so far. It's been great. It's um, having a, an absolute ball being involved with the Asian Games, and uh, especially with uh, Drew Media, of course, um, made this presentation uh, a really, really good thing for roller hockey internationally as well as for roller hockey Australia. Thanks, Shane. No worries at all. And, uh, and a big thank you, of course, to uh, Al Andrew, um, Alistair Andrew, who is the man out in the for Drew Media, and uh, making sure this is going well before we go to the people back home. So uh, what I will do is mention to uh, the boys at uh, Morty Alec Roller Hockey Club, uh, I'm sure uh, uh, they should be back at training now during the halftime break, um, so they, they shouldn't be right by rights here listening to me right now until the, the whistle starts once again for the second half. But, um, yeah, a big cheerio to all those guys back at home. Um, and also I'd like to thank everybody else on social media for um, seeing all the messages come through on the stream at the moment. Thank you very much. We really appreciate all your comments um, and uh, the support for the Australian the guys are looking at all these feeds and the comments and streams. Um, they, they love it. They love your support. And it feels like um, everybody's sort of there right behind them in the grandstand when they're playing in the, internationally. So please keep up the support on that and um, keep up the great work. Um, Alistair, um, do you think that the boys have got a, a lay day on tomorrow? Do you, what do you think might be on the agenda? A bit of a touring round or the uh, a rest day in the sauna and uh, a few massages? Um, I, I don't think we have any... Uh plans to actually have any holidaying, that's not really why we're here. So we we'll probably we will take a, a relaxed approach to obviously having no games, but I think it will be business as usual again. I know it's only like a broken record, but that is just the agenda really today and for the rest of the week is to just absorb the hockey, bond, get the, get the new players in place. You know, the guys are spending a lot of time watching a lot of hockey, sitting in front of a projector, talking, discussing plays. Um, new defense strategies and new attacking strategies so i mean it's all it's all on at the moment it's really exciting to see like i was describing earlier today it's just really really encouraging to see how this team is just clicking into the next mode you know it's really important for the team to just get the results from all their hard work and as one of the client one of the uh i think it was mark winters just had a great comment it's just you know all credit to steve and claudio as well as the team of course the players are putting in all the hard work of course they're the ones committed to the training Oh, there's Cameron Bone saying hello. But uh, yeah, it's 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 just really good to now see some results. It is great, and uh, yeah, thank you for those comments there. Because uh, just by the tone of the words that you've been using describing what's going on there in that Van Wong, in that um, it's it's serious business. Um, a, a different attitude and a different feel to um, what I'm used to having been uh, exposed to in roller hockey. Uh, mind you, I am a, a, a junior myself. Uh, to the whole hockey experience in that um, um, having a sort of a parental involvement to begin with and now becoming just so entrenched in the whole family situation. Um, that is roller hockey in Australia. Um, absolutely loving it. Um, <coughs> so, but I've, I haven't seen such seriousness from the Australian camp before on an international uh, event. This is great to see. Um, uh, the, like I was saying earlier before the game started, the buzz on social media is that the boys are excited, they're pumped, they're very, very, very focused on what's going on here. And that's what's needed for what's about, for coming at Barcelona. If we are going to be playing in the top pool of uh, countries, we've really got to play something special to actually get ourselves up on that world stage and uh, say, shout it from the rooftops like, here we are, the rest of the world, Australia is not going away. Well, I think it's what Steve's always been on about. It's like we're concentrating on being the best in the region, right? So that's Asia Oceania. This is our this is our area. This is our region. If we are playing to the standard, to be uh, playing in that level, and to be the leader in that level, then we can compete in other areas like what we'd want to do in Barcelona. So it's, yeah, it's 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 serious business. Absolutely serious business. Um, and there's a lot of time invested by everybody involved. Um, I know it's uh, for the, the Drew crew uh, trying to get all the technical side of the players. The players put so much time and effort into it. Personally, doing their own personal fitness training, going to the training camps and doing more training drills, um, skills drills, playing practice matches, trying to um, source the best players they possibly can to train and compete against in practice matches. I mean, even um, now, course. Shane, Shane, even now looking at the shot right now, I mean, there you've got Steve and you've got the players. They are all listening. I mean, the guys are 6-0 up, right? But they are discussing. They are planning. They are strategizing. It doesn't matter what the situation is. We are 
about hockey here, and, and this is what's really good. It's really a machine. It's really working. It's it's it's, it's really. It is, and uh, and particularly when you can really see uh, the machine is pulling out some of um, the the players that we've seen from uh, other tournaments and um, some of the more interstate games where some of these players do assemble and play together as a state team. Um, as, besides being an international team, um, and the players are working great. Fabulous. You can see the, the, the Australian camp, they are having a bit of an experiment. They're enjoying themselves. They're having fun. Um, it's great to see. i got to go. No worries. Look, thank you very much for your comments, Elf. Thanks for joining us here at the Melbourne studio. And uh, we just get back to the broadcast as we see it on the, uh, the interweb as it's streaming through us in the Melbourne studio at the moment. We're seeing Juan Pablo and Jordi Poblet in the centre circle at the moment. Referee putting the ball into position at this point in time. The stick is ready and poised. Clee, front of screen at the moment. Referee is checking things out. Clee being pushed back as indicated by Pablo. Pablo having a bit of a look around. Ball is there. Seconds to go. Ready. Nervous seconds. There's the whistle. Play has begun. Poblet. Have a bit of a look. Scoots around. Passes back across the other side. Referee has called. To, he's seen something there. Must be five seconds. Yep, yep, the stick has indicated five seconds. China's ball. China a bit slow and pick up on the slack on that one. That should be a well and true on top of this. Good right. China passing down the wall at the moment. Stuck in the corner. Trying to get pushed out. Murray putting pressure on at the moment. Pressure being passed on by Pablo. Pablo chasing him around at the moment. Bit of a man, zone man on defence, I think, they might be playing at the moment. Maybe you just uh, enjoying their hockey at the moment. Then a loose one-on-one. Let's see what they come up with the Australian camp. There's a ball drifting into the corner at the moment. There's a Murray passes it long down the wall. There's a very long and deep. There's a scooting in front of the cage. Pablo doesn't have a go at it. There's Poblet having a bit of a go in, scooting behind the cage with the ball. There it is. He's passing off to Murray. Back to Poblet. What's he going to do? Going between them? No, he doesn't get any joy through there. Picks up the ball once again on the rebound. Poblet back to the centre circle. Pablo. Poblet. Poblet, centre circle. Back to Pablo. Just making the Chinese chase him around in circles, see what they're going to do. Pull him off to one side. There's the slap shot. There's a payoff. No, it doesn't. Clee picking up the crumbs on the other side of that one. In the corner. What's he going to do? He's going to pass it off to his mate just next to him, Poblet. Poblet having a little look. Passes long to Murray. Murray in front of screen, drifting in towards the centre. Passes off long to Pablo. Skating in towards the centre. A bit deeper this time. He's going to get round one. Dummies the slap shot. Decides to do the uh, the spin off, passing backward through to Poblet. Has a go with the cage. It's indicated with padded off by the keeper or the referee. China's got the ball. Though. Passes long. Nobody there. Didn't matter. No man's land at the moment. Australia skating easily to pick it up. Australia's ball at the moment. Passes to Murray. Murray getting it over the line again for Australia. Passes long to the other side. Back to the centre circle. Passes by Pablo. He's got to get back over five seconds. Reps counting it. There it is. It's back in play once more. Poblet skating fast and hard. It's going to have a look. Gone too wide. Passes to the man in the centre of the front of the cage. Can't see it at the moment. There's a mess in front of the cage. The ref's in the way. Can't see the play. The sticks. There's refs. There's goalkeeper everywhere. The ball's popped out. It's Australia's ball at the moment. There it is. Murray passing long. Poblet back on the action again. Walks around. He tries to put pressure on. Go around the Chinese player. And he scores. Yes. yes. Another fantastic goal from Australian camp. Great work. Stick confirming that, that that goal there for us instantly. Australia is setting themselves, not taking too much joy or too much glory out of the one. It's back to business. As we've been talking about with Cal, this fan team is drilled. They're not taking any smiles, any glory, anything whatsoever. Hey, hey. Well, Pablo skates at this point. Oh, China put a bit of pressure on Pablo. You saw that on the screen there. He's waving his apologies for that. Sorry, but that's a bit of a Chinese custom. That's all right, we'll all get used to it. Don't worry about it. We're in Asia now. Australia, trying to trying to put pressure on China, get the ball back. China's still having it at the moment. Pablo, a, bit, uh, a little bit miffed after that. And there, he's wanting to put the pressure on China. Clee, the one-on-one battle there. Clee wins out at the moment to get the wall. Clee skating down the line. Got to get it back over. Got 10 seconds. Their pass is long, and he's skating in front of the cage, waiting for the pass. He can't get it to it. Skates pass through. Pablo, regrouping himself, drifting in front of the cage, looking for the pass. There's Clee setting himself in front of the cage. Passes wide. Back to the centre circle. We're not going to try that play. We're going to do something else. We're going to work it. Work back at the forward. See where the gaps are. Back into the centre. He's a little bit deeper this time. Put China. There's the opportunity to score. Clee picking it up in the corner. Passing it back. What's he going to do? He's going to try and get around. Fumbles a little bit. Having a bit of a look. Passes short to Pablo. Pablo helping him. Getting back to Pablo in the centre circle. Pablo. Oh, dummies. This lap shot. There's the tap, tap. Pass to Pablo once again. 
Pablo decides to actually he's going to try and have a skate around, doesn't do the pass off. Um, he's now jammed in the corner behind the cage. Just picked it up, looks like a big cleat. Like Murray on the center for the Poblet. He's going to have skating, skating in. He's, he's, oh, yes, he scores! He goes in deep, he goes in wide. Doesn't matter to Poblet. Well, it's just popping in anyway. Thank you very much. Fantastic work there by the Australian camp. It was just seemed to be uh, dazzling and mesmerizing the Chinese opponents. And that's how the ball worked and back and forwards. I was starting to get dizzy and the balls would go round and round and round and round. Great work on the replay. We're seeing here Pobla coming in, coming in, skating in, put the pressure on. There's the little, not so much a slap shot, it's just a little flick, power flick. There it is. I'm just conferring with his stick for one, one, one moment. The stick is indicating that ball may have actually come off the rookie stick. We're not really sure on how it's going to be called. We'll look for that uh, adjudication later on, maybe in a timeout. But at the moment, Poblet's off the ball. Picked up by Clee in the back corner. Poblet. Back across the other side of the floor, deep into the centerish position. Pablo. He's trying to get to that man cage. There's Clee in front of the, waiting for the intercept, the pass in front. Moments. Rebound off the ball. Long. Poblet. Poblet. Having a bit of skating. He's going to try and skate around him. Decides not to. Passes long across the other side of the floor. Murray, what's he going to do? He's going to have a skate in between him. No, too close at this point in time. Go round and round around the bush. But round the back of the cage. Have a bit of a look. He's going to do the look and pop. No, pass back to the center side. Passes wide. Drifts is way back into the defensive stream area. And there will be the uh, timeout for the session of the Australian ball. But it will go back to China now, being five seconds over the line. Clearly just coming back into screen there at the moment. Referee. Ball. Ball slowly being turned back to the starting position to get the play under. Oh, the time. I'm trying to get a bit too worried about this. But uh, the, uh, the, um, <coughs> the challenge is to get on with this as fast as we can. Back on the ball again, the China. Rare moments when we the ball. Australia easily taking it away from the Chinese. Australia picking up the thumbs off that and pass along Poblet. It's passing back. Looks like it's a, a Murray Poblet combination there. There's a Pablo. I can't quite see at the moment. Image is moving around. That's like Poblet. Oh, right there, just having a bit of a slap in the cage. Doesn't pay off Poblet in the distance. Pass into the centre. There's Murray having a bit of a go at the cage. Picked up by China on the rebound. Australia not throwing. Getting two fast back bricks, setting themselves at home. Pretty cool thing like that. We'll take it off the Chinese, I feel, at this point in time when they actually get the opportunity to actually have one tussle. The moment. There's the boys are uh, going to pick it up. Didn't see the Chinese opponent. Picks it up off his plea, putting in a hard effort, trying to defend hard. He's working at it. He's want, he doesn't want that Chinese opponent to get out. He kind of passes it long back into the defensive area of China. Having a bit of a look. Got to get it back over the line again. It is done successfully. I've had a slot shot, slot sh- slap shot at it. <laughs> Too much time to protection going on here. But uh, China doesn't, isn't able to pay off on that one. China has another go. Picking it up. What are they going to think? Experience what that Lee kid is getting put again. He's all over it. He's trying to get that Chinese opponent, put the pressure on him. Uh, James Murray, back to the cage there. They're trying to pass it for It's a bit of a tussle in the corner. It's green and gold versus the red. Who's winning out on that one? Murray's got that ball at this point in time. It passes back to the cage. Looks like Pablo. Passes long. Murray, too wide. He picks it up on the rebound. Lee picking it up on the coming pass. Then Pablo, he's having a bit of a look. Pass. Pablo, what's he going to do? He goes a little bit deeper. There it is to Clee in the corner. And he's going to pass that behind the cage or he's going to go back. And it's got that <laughs> That's a goal scored. Yes. Who scores that one? We can't see at the moment. Who, who's that? Uh, Scored that one for Australia, but it is an Australian goal. Well done from the Australian camp. Let's have a look at it and see how we see it on the replay. There it is. There's the man in the centre in front of the cage. It's flicked up by the keeper. We're not we're seeing something going on there. And it's like Juan Pablo deep in the thick of all of that. It's going on. There's, yes, there it is. There's his sword. That's the last second. Is the ball bouncing in front of his stick. He just gives that a gentle tap and in the cage it goes. China will be very disappointed with it. Juan Pablo almost looking... Sitting back and puffing uh, on a cigar and enjoying that goal. But uh, it just uh, back into the action. But Hurley, Poblet, Hurry. Australia camp will be very relaxed now and just enjoy the remainder of this game. 
at the moment. There it is behind the back of the cage. Pass long. Back to that deep centre position early. Having a bit of a go at the cage at the moment. Just as a bit of a pass at it. And that see if how it goes getting in the cage. China picking up on the rebound that. China having to go there. Making Lee work a little bit in the cage. But uh, not necessary. The ninja hasn't moved from his slumber lotus position. So, Murray back on the ball at the moment. Australia having it going. Trying to get back to the one. Murray putting a bit of pressure on Lee. Trying to tap it out of position in China. It ends up passing back. Coming on there, it's a bit of a battle. Australia versus China. Australia becoming clean, relaxed, still playing hockey in this game. Murray having a go, having a bit of a shot at the page. Lee in the corner. He's got two Chinese on the moment. He's looking left, right. He's trying to pull the kick out, keep him drop out. At the moment doesn't need it. Hurley, Poblet, a bit of a skate around. Australian camp getting faster in front of front. There's the pass in front of the cage. Don't get it. James Murray get the uh, stick onto it properly to get the shot. At the ball moment. Oh, a bit of a uh, collision there with Murray. And uh, we're seeing the uh, Australian camp here to still put the pressure off the Chinese, not giving up at all. There's Pablo behind the cage. He's like uh, pass in front of the goal scoring line to uh, Murray. With Murray having to behind the cage. Pablo just in have to go with that pop shot in there. Moment does have a go. And it's a uh, China gets to stick onto the ball. The three back off at the moment. The one. Yeah. Poblet, Murray, putting the pressure on him. Can China get it out? No, it goes to the Australian camp. Down the far end of the floor. Hurley to bring it back up again. Poblet, across to Hurley, having a look. But Australia taking the time now. They're in front of the clock. Don't pass it around. But they still had the 45 seconds. They don't want to give it back to China. They don't want to have to go and try and rescue this ball again just from uh, being lazy and not having any shot at the goal. Being so relaxed at this game. Got to have it. There it goes. There's the wind-up for the shot. Added away by the keeper and called by the referee. And, uh, play has stopped. It has been played. High ball has been called by the stick. And the ball is got back and played with the floor. Australia, he's been taken back off the Chinese. Just a child's play. There it is. Oh, it's a run in from the gate. <laughs> Yeah. How do you like that? A walk in the park type goal for Australia. Fantastic work there. Australia's uh, really on top of this game here at the moment. Um, great to see the Australian camp. The hard work, there it is. James Murray. There you go. Let's drag the keeper out. There he is. He'll all expose. He's out too far. I've got an open cage. Let's just pop it in there. Let's put it away for the night. Thank you very much, boys. Thanks for playing hockey. Great work by the Australian camp. Ball back in play once more. Still Hugely dominating this game. Poblet back on the cut. And a bit of a look. What's he going to do? Going to have a shot? No, he's gone too deep, too wide. He's in the corner. What's he going to do? He's got to skate out or he's going to pass it back behind the cage of Van Ant. Van Ant is back into the corner. Poblet in the corner. Back to the line wing. Joe Murray has to skate across the floor. Pass it across to Hurley. Hurley. Back to Murray. Back to Murray. Van Ant is picking up the front of that shot. Turning back, he's trying to keep the Chinese game. So he keep it. Evan Hurley had a bit of a skate in, has a big slap shot at the cage, had play by the Chinese, no problem whatsoever. Straight. Fernandez on the floor, trying to drive Johnny. Johnny having a bit of a skate down the floor that may not last long. It's probably been able to tap it down the position of the Chinese easily. There it is, Candy from a baby once again. Hurley passing along, trying to, trying to provide interference. Fernandez has almost got an opening. There's the pass. Oh, that's the one two. Oh, he nearly pulled it off. Pointing. Fernandez will be kicking himself on that one. He'd be wishing he had have scored that. That's uh, fantastic work by the Australian camp setting that up. One of the uh, the more strategic basic plays the Australian camp does have at this league. Hobbit working hard at the moment. Fernandez giving him another go. He wants to have another shot. He'll be hungry for this. Down in the down behind the goal area. There we've got Murray stuck there at the moment. He's trying to pull some ball out. It's back to the centre wing position. Across the other side of the floor to Poblet. Poblet having a bit of a drift down the wall. There's the pass behind the cage man. Fernandez. Passing back to the centre circle. Crumble reception there. Hurley, there's the pass in front of the cage. He's having a go at it. Oh, it's in again. Beautiful. It's a lovely one too. Great work by the Australian camp. They're trying and exercising all these plays. As you can see, as the ball is dipping down, you've got the player going wide. And you've got to, it's, now it could be a choice of one or two players. They're kind of ready for the pass, the intercept. Great. And you've seen those fantastic images there on replay. Thank you to uh, Alice or Drew Me. There's the pass in front of the cage. And there's... 
There's the shot, and there's the other man booked in if need to be, but not required in this case. And that uh, the Australian camp are really on top of it and confident with what's going on here. They're going deep with their effective uh, positions at the moment. They're chasing the shot, and falls back in play once more. See, so still Australia's pop at the moment. Got to get it back over the line. There it is, Murray. What's he going to do? There's the play. Front change for Nandy skating through. Couldn't get a stick onto it cleanly. Trying to take up on that one. So there's the ball taken off of the Chinese. There it is back in Australia's hand. And once more, early, if you look past the cage, there's no one to do this. There is the ball taken, taken away from Nandy. He's playing with it. Pop, it's a pop Pop across there the floor. And Murray back to pop it again. Having to skate in. Having a look. Having a look. Then he's going to go behind the cage. Oh, he's popping it in. Other oh, well, I'll go behind the cage. No, I won't have a shot. There we go. Pays off. Jordy Poblet, well done. Applause for the Australian camp. Great work. Great work here. And uh, I've, I've, I've lost count here. We're looking at this. I've got to remind myself. Scoreboard. 12 0. Great work by the Australian camp. Seeing all the uh, the plays coming out of the out of the playbook at the moment. The goal is getting down to the local level. This is this is almost like big league plays coming out. And it's, uh, the boys are having fun, I expect. And um, they'll be thoroughly enjoying international hockey at the moment. And um, thank you to people that are uh, competing at these games and enjoying their hockey as well. Poplet having a moment go down. Hey, oh, Poplet. Oh, they're not a good display there at the moment. Uh, they may be uh, word spoken on the replay of that one. Early. Passing off to Murray. Murray and we're seeing in front of camera at the moment. Just taking his time. A little bit relaxed. Enjoying his hockey as well. At the moment. Having a bit of a scoot around. I like to have a bit of a skate. Now left, right, left, right. There's Early. Picks him up. He's taking his time at the moment. Very, very relaxed. They're confident that against these Chinese teams. That um, any time they want the ball back, they can have it. Pablo, they're having a bit of a shot, and he's had a great game so far, playing well. Hurley's been the absolute mainstay of the Australian back line. Pablo having another go, though he decides to dump it off. Fernandez, here's the play, the tap, the classic one too. The boys are, I know somebody's going to be screaming at, uh, at uh, Morty Training tonight, going, see, that's how you do it. That's how you do it, guys. That's what I've been telling you for years. If you only just listen to me. So there we go. We're seeing it demonstrated in an international game. Great work by the Australian camp. So let's see if the basics are working here, even at the international level. Great work. Now, we'll back onto the play once more. Looks like a bit of a runaway situation. Um, <laughs> sorry. Uh, Mr. Murray, can we please have the ball back? We'd like to play some hockey. No, oh, thank you very much. Uh, nice to you to join us. Let me conject you there. Australian camp right up the Chinese here. Look, they're having some fun with this. They're like, look like it's the man-on-man strategy, and they're just going to have a ball with the remaining time. All right, there we go. Pablo in front of screen momentarily. We've got Fernandez picking it up behind the cage, and we've got a bit of a skate around, passes it long on the wing position. Early having a bit of a go in the cage. Oh, just skate through. As I'm skating, popping into anything here. Great work by the camp. This is becoming a bit of a whitewash. And... Um, <laughs> yeah, it's an El Nino of goals in Nan Wong at the moment. This is an amazing feat by the Australian camp. Great work. Yeah, just not seemingly in this game at the moment, as you can see on the scoreboard. 14 nil. 14 nil. Um, in my time with Roll I've never seen a result like this before. Great work by the Australians. Still dominating this play. Choma momentarily has this ball. Passing long, Australia will be possibly back at the pressure. Give the Chinese a little bit of a go. Give them a bit of some sticks on the ball. But uh, no, it's no, but James Murray coming down the cage. He's uh, having a quick go. He can't get it off. Hurley picking it up from the corner. Getting behind the cage. Maybe he wants to have him on the go. What's he going to do? He's going to do it. Pop, pass it off to his teammate. Now it's intercepted by China. And so, going to have a bit of a go. Also, a bit of a, a, yeah, a slip on the floor over there at the moment. This Australian team. Ball being back to that with China. China holds on to it at the moment. Fernandez putting the pressure on him. There's Murray also applying pressure to the Chinese. China holding on to the ball at the moment in close quarters. There have been ball in these types of situations, but China momentarily hanging it on. But a poor pass from a China, nowhere to go. Hurley having to charge down the floor. There's the pass to the man. There's the number three. It's the uh, the one, two, three in front of the cage. Uh, it's up to pull it off this time. Here we've got, we've got Hurley, it looks like, on the, on the floor there at the minute. Up, picks itself up quickly. Now it falls in no man's land at the point in time, drifting back. Who's on it? But uh, and they're trying to find out with China. The referee's whistle has been called. And the timeout has been called. Great. Yeah, uh, the stick is smiling here. And uh, the stick, but 
yeah, just an indication of how you're seeing the reffing so far. It's up to international standards as you see. Give you a big thumbs up from the stick. Fantastic. And thank you very much here in the Melbourne studio. And I uh, just like to thank the opportunity as well, Drew, to uh, thank Drew Media, Alistair Andrew there, the man in the field, on the spot. All these fantastic images with the inter- interweb. Great work there from the Drew Green. Drew Crew, I should say, and uh, Roller Hockey Australia in association with all of this. Uh, great collaborative effort between those two organisations. And Josh Sport, their name sponsor for this event. We've seen 20 seconds left on the clock for the timeout period. Australia 14, China nil. And uh, going into the final stages of this game. Great work. Alistair, uh, I see that, uh, are you there on the um, on the interweb? Can we talk to you? Yeah, yeah, I'm here, mate. Oh, so, uh, I can see there, I expect you, you might be looking at the boys now. Um, they've been looking very relaxed and um, actually look like they're having a bit of fun there on the floor. Well, I think it's important again. Um, they're enjoying it probably, but they're just going to be using this opportunity to, to try things. That's great, and we are seeing more and more uh, strategies coming out. We're seeing the, the, uh, the two-on-one uh, on the cage. We also see, so just saw the three-on-one as well and um, didn't quite pay dividends in that uh, last play, but... Um, the, the players are coming out. We've seen the classic stuff. Um, this would be great stuff for the kids to watch. Um, and I suggest all, all your kids get out there that are playing hockey at the moment. Have a look closely at what's going on in this game with the Australian camp. They're trying all the strategies. Have a look. Fernandez has the ball at the moment. Bouncing off down the wall to flee. Back into this play once more. Back across the back of the goals. And it's working in a square situation, square formation at the moment. Murray. Pablo. What's he going to do? Is he going to have a shot at the cage? Is he going to have a go? Are there any crumbs to be picked up there? It's looked like there's a cleese falling down on the ground in front of the cage there. Not sure what's going on. But the stick is tra- just a clean. There's, it looks like there's a push foul that's uh, been called there by the stick. It's not sure. The, uh, the players are confirming with the referee at the moment. Uh, which way is it going to go? It's uh, been called the place off by the referee. The stick is not happy. The stick is not happy. He's made his call. That's it. It's a black mark at the moment. He will be taking names. Ball back to play once more. Clean coming back in the edge like Pablo. Having a bit of a skate across the floor. Pass down the wall to Clee. Clee skating back. Having a bit of a look. He's going to put the pressure on. Back to Pablo again. Going to get on the cage. He's going to be drifting in front of the cage. Well, looking at that pass again. Back out of trouble from behind the cage. And the referees have called it. Stick not indicating either way. Okay, Australia's ball. As called by the referees of that Pablo as on the end at the moment. Passes it back to the centre line. This other side from there is Murray. Right, back across the other side. Who we seeing there? Pablo. Pablo having a look at no, Passes back to Murray once more. Pablo. No, no, and there is the pass. He's just waiting strategically for it. Pablo having a bit of a skating. Has a bit of a flick at the cage. Doesn't pay dividends. Looks like Lee's on the charge there. A bit of a put the pressure on the Chinese fan from behind the cage. Lee's not getting up at the moment. He's been able to intercept. Murray is not able to intercept either on that pass. Trying to slip having the ball on the pass back. Passes along across the other side of the floor. Trying to have a bit of a go here. Passes back to their man. They're having a go at the cage. And it's, I uh, believe, it's Reese Leighton in the cage at the moment. And so, uh, trying to be desperately trying to make it Reese work at this point in time. But it will be all too late. We're seeing Murray at the moment slowly drifting down. The boys will be getting exhausted, even though that um, they will be still totally focused on what's going on here. But they're pulling out of the They've got to focus, and they've drained late stage of the game. They've had two games. This is their second game today. The referees has called it. Okay, there. Clean indicating China's ball. He's saying, clean indicating his back. He's putting his hand. I've got it. There's the ball drifting away into no man's land. He's chasing it. China's on it. Murray put the pressure on. Up the moment. Got Bay going back into a defensive position. He's drifting around. He's, and he's a headache at the moment, which is that leaves the Australian camp a little bit defenceless, but uh, obviously a little bit confident. He gets up in a tussle there on the floor. The moment. Pablo coming out on top of the tussle there. Pablo trying to actually go in between the players at the moment rather than go to the place. He's charging. Okay. Has a bit of a shot at it. China picks it up on the rebound. Tried to get it forward. Fernandez provides interference early at the moment. There it is, his man trying to uh, blind turn. Uh, gets around, outskates him just on pure speed. He's going down the floor, he's going a bit too deep, too wide. He has a crack of the cage anyway. Can't get it from these angles. Hurley chasing his own shot all the way around the back of the cage. Passes back to Fernandez. It's the time, there's the referee indicating over the line. There is ball being passed deep into the corner. Hurley, a bit of a look, giving some time and space. Fernandez, who winds up, has a shot. 
high ball called by the referee. China's plea there in the foreground is just put a bit of pressure on it, make sure there's an Australian man in the Chinese, just to trying to provide that fly in the ointment. China trying to put pressure on the Australians. They have a bit of a sneaky shot there. Oh, it's just to be by the ship Australians. Hurley stuck in the corner at the moment, trying to put pressure on him. Hurley coming out on top, just easily outskating these guys. The moment past Bong down the wall, there's nobody there to intercept properly. Cleet putting pressure on, it's gone around the corner. It's reached to defend that one properly. Cleet putting pressure on, put stick into the right spot. Can't quite get these up. At the moment. China having the ball stuck in the corner. It's green and gold all around him at the moment. Passes long, back into the circle. What's he going to do? Nearly stolen off him by Pablo. Can't make a bit of a up there at the moment. Loses his balance, he's back onto it. China has the ball. There's the pass in front of the cage. There's no man there. He's having to make the, uh, the work for it in the cage. But uh, he, he's just defending that one. That's her. Easily. Now, pass. Down the ball. It's Australia, China. Australia, China. China looking at now at the moment. Fernandez putting the pressure on. What's he going to do? He's just not letting him get out, but he's not taking the ball off him either. What's he going to do? Uh, and the referees have called something there. Well, we, how are we seeing, we're seeing anything at the point in time? We're sticking here. We look at the we Regardless of what we're actually calling it, China's... Back in play once more. China skating around uh, Australia. Pablo put the pressure on. Can't just not let him up this Chinese opponent at all. And uh, yeah, Juan Pablo there being hooked by the Chinese player. He's not happy about that. It's to us is now uh, a bit of manhandling on the Chinese opponents. But uh, Pablo, you're uh, going on with that as opposed to how he remembers it. Uh, the player runs straight into Hurley there at the moment. That, that can be a painful situation. Uh, for a small fellow like that. It's a uh, ball back in play. China on the ball at the moment. Skating down the floor. Haven't put Hurley putting the pressure on him. Can't get, can't get a bit of his legs. Tried that play at the moment. Pablo getting out. Tries the long pass across the floor. There it goes. Fernandez having a bit of a look. China putting the pressure on. Has a bit of a look. That's the dummy slap shot. Passes off to Hurley. Hurley the one hand pass down the floor. There Fernandez in the corner. He's trying to skate behind the cage now. Trying to get out. Where's he going to pass? Is he going to go long? Bouncing off the wall. There's the long pass back to the centre line. And having a look, can't see in the screen at the moment who that is. It's back down the wall again. This looks like Pablo. A bit of a charge in the cage. Decides to go back. China picks up on the intercept. That one. Great work by China. But uh, struggling to hold on to the ball at the moment. He's got two Australians on him. Uh, here we go. Hurley putting the pressure on the third Chinese player. And he uh, can't get away cleanly. Australia pick up the crumbs of that one. China just not able to get their passes off their, uh, their fellow players well enough in the uh, uh, to keep into this game. Hurley winding up, having a go at that one. And we've got uh, Pablo in the corner, tries to out game. Has a bit of a slide over there at the moment, loses his balance. It's a uh, game of back on it. Hurley still has the ball. Pablo picks up in front of the cage. That's the tip. Back end stack. That's the payoff. The player. Referee's calling it. We can't see the players down on the floor at this point in time. Who can see? It is green and gold. Who are we seeing on the floor at the minute? Evan's taken a knock. Uh, if Evan Hurley. Bevan Hurley is uh, down at the moment. He uh, looks as though he's grabbing his ankle at this time, point in time. But, uh, we'll just give it a minute and see how we go. The, uh, the play has been stopped for an injury timeout, of course, uh, just momentarily, just to see how he uh, regains his composure and see if he needs a change off the, uh, with the Australian bench. But uh, it looks as though he's skating right. He's uh, given a bit of a shake and looks to be OK. Now, uh, the referee's decision on that... Uh, Stick, uh, are we uh, seeing anything coming out of the tussle with this? Yeah, there was a blue card for China, Shane. Uh, a, a blue card has been issued for China. So that will be a penalty shot for Australia now. Just to put the icing on the cake with the cherries to match. Now, who's taking the shot? Who we got? Uh, looks like uh, uh, Pablo taking the shot there is for Australia. And uh, China setting themselves in the cage. The New Zealanders in the back of it. Jimmy Blinkhorn uh, waving his arms frantically. Yeah, good to see you here, Jimmy. Yeah, we'll be taking you on Thursday, so uh, keep yourself sharp, mate. Don't worry about it. Yes. <laughs> it's out now. Back to the game. There it is. There's the shot. Oh, it doesn't pay off. It looks like it's high and wide. The referee's whistle has been called. It is going to be a reset back. I think there must have been a break or something in there. No, there's a ball. Called it's back it a high play. shot. Called it a high oh, yeah. shot. Yep, the stick is set. I've read that completely wrong. <laughs> The ball in play once again. Yeah, I'm sure everybody out there will be telling me exactly what I've said wrong and done wrong. But uh, we're back on it again. China has the ball at the moment. Just good the cage. There's just green and gold all over the moment. Australia putting heaps, needs of pressure on China. Have a look at that. Three Australian players on one Chinese and a football. A bit unfair advantage here at the moment. But Australia are just that comfortable at the moment. They just want to put the pressure on. 
and I'm sure China just want this game to end. Uh, they just they'll be in pain. They'll be suffering at the moment. They just please, please put us out of our misery. There's Fernandez. It's pass in front of the cage. It looks like Pablo is too wide and too deep. Two players on the floor though, picking themselves up. Passing into the corner position, mate. Picked pick once again by a striker. There's a Pablo. Haven't we ever skated in? Has a big hand. Backhand slap on the shot. Okay. Can't get off. Fernandez picks up the front. Passes back to Hurley on the wall. Back to the long side. Across the other side of the floor. Back to Hurley once more. And back again. Getting closer and closer. This time until there's a wind up for the shot. He damaged the shot. There's the pass into the corner. Just in the cage. Can't get it off. And point. Fernandez picking up the crumbs. Back to Hurley. Across to the other side. Poblet. Poblet has the wind up. Does he pull it off? He has the shot. Three bands away. Fernandez, it looks like it's in the corner, trying to pull it out again once again to Hurley. China has the ball, they're out on top of this one. Up over to Hurley, skating there at the moment, as you see on the screen. All bounced off the back wall at the moment. Hurley skating into position, ready to steal it. China is. Hurley skating furiously down the floor. Team check, and it back over for there again. Having a pass into the corner, it looks like Fernandez is there waiting for it. What's he going to do? He's going to be on. They pass back to Hurley. Hurley winds up for the big slap shot. It's wide of the cage. Now Pablo picking up in the corner crumbs of that one. A bit of a look, what's he going to do? Skating back casually. Back to Hurley again. And there they are, there's the Australian man looking into the centre. Can't get a clean pass to him. China picks it up on the mess of that one from the Australian. Man. But as Australia's ball anyway, as they drift off and pick it up or get the out uh, defensive area. The referee calling out the 10 seconds, getting it back up. Hurley winds up. Big shot from the centre line. Doesn't pay off. China easily patting that one away. So he's still dominating on the rebounds of this, about any attempt at goal. Fernandez passing back to the centre circle. Poplet. Skating off to the fence, to the fence, having a better look, passing down the line. Pablo. Pablo. Just like yeah, Bevan Hurley. Bevan Hurley. There's a skating around, trying to put a bit more pressure on him. They've uh, maybe seen him for a danger man, they're skating a bit closer. But there's only one minute 35 seconds remaining on the clock. This torturous game for China. Great result for Australia. And we're just seeing the circulating around at the moment. This shot clock going to be running around. They're going to have to have a go. Fernandez is passing off down the wall at the moment. And it looks like it's Hurley. Hurley had a bit of escape. Pass off back to Fernandez. It's happened in front of the cage. And scores again. Yes, that's it. That's it. In front of the cage. Great work by the Australian camp. We've seen some very basic plays going out uh, into uh, the floor here at the moment from the Australian camp. Great to see, like I was saying earlier. Good for the kids to be watching what's going on here with the Australian camp and seeing these plays come straight out of the playbook uh, that you'll be seeing at the local level. So listen to your coaches, watch the replays, watch the game, um, get on top of this, learn some stuff, and uh, your hockey will improve immensely from doing these sorts of things. But the Australian camp have uh, done a fantastic job here so far. And we're seeing uh, Pablo having a bit of a camp there. It's just basically teasing the Chinese players back to Pablo, Trot Fernandez at the other side. Oh, Fernandez has a back end snapshot. There he says, hey, where? How'd I go? There we go. I scored one. Um, Carlos Fernandez, great work by him. I'm sure the other uh, boys out the uh, western suburbs of Melbourne will be cheering the roof down at uh, the Lisport uh, skating ring with the Lisport club uh, at this point in time. So great work there from, from uh, Carlos Fernandez. China teeing off once again to the, uh, the dying minute of this game. There won't be much left on the clock. Um, Carlos will be absolutely wrapped that he's uh, managed to get himself on the international score, but well done to Carlos. Australia still teasing at the moment, working with the Chinese at the moment. Just teasing away, Fernandez having a bit of a uh, spell there on the floor. Referee has called it. And we are in the last 28 seconds of this game. The clock will be at stop start at the last minute of this game. There we are, see, passed off down the ball. Australia is looking to find these six seconds down. There's a pop in front of the cage. Oh, all this been a bit. The stick, he's got to say, the stick's forward. He's not sure, he's shaking his head. He wants to see what's going on here. Let's see if we can actually pull that free play. Hope the L's out to you there. 10 fouls. Are we looking at 10 fouls here? And, uh, the stick fading. 10 fouls there. The stick is, the stick is x ray. They can see the things that I can't see on the screen here. This is fantastic work. There's the situation. Oh! Oh, 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 definitely a foul city there. Oh, and the Chinese man go down in sympathy. <laughs> oh, terrible work. There's the shot. Here we go. Shot. Fantastic. It's the rookie. That's the rookie was given the tie, the uh, penalty shot. Great work from the Australian camp. Great work to, to uh, Ash Klee scoring his first international goal there. Awesome work. 
the uh, Australian team management sharing the load around for all these players of the, uh, the, the experience through to the, uh, the young rookie. Great work to see. Dying seconds left to play China's ball. It's only a matter of seconds now. We're just waiting for that buzzer in the background. It's please skating hard to the foreground. Who's going to chase that ball? It's Fernandez. And there it is. It's another fantastic game for the Australian camp. Congratulations all around. Shaking hands everywhere. You can see them with a smile. Bevan Hurley, front of the screen there, just skating through at the moment. He's a fist in the air. He's excited. He's uh, really pumped to see this. The result here for the Australian camp. There's a great result there. 17 to nil. I'm, I'm going to have to write this one day. I was worried. I'm sure the uh, the boys at Ladbrokes are, uh, are more relieved now that they can actually see what's going on here. We should see some odds at uh, the next tournament when we actually get on the app next time we can get it working. But uh, great with Cameron Bowen in front of the screen, the Australian captain at the moment. Um, I'm sure he'll be extremely pleased. Lee Glass, we also see their first with the Australian keeper, Reyes Leeton. Uh, we're looking at the Australian team management there. Chloe Manu's. Steve Howey. And uh, we also seen just a walk out of screen there, Alicia Hurley, Team Physio and uh, Masua. Lee Glass there, he's, uh, looks like he's having a chat with the Chinese guys, he's enjoying himself there. Uh, everybody loves a good time, shake and a good, wish him great camaraderie. Um, Al, are you, are you out there on the floor? I'm here, what's up? Fantastic, no, I just uh, want to uh, uh, say hi and look, and thank you very much for your, your work um, that you've been doing with Drew Media. Um, we really appreciate you, everything you're doing out there. I'm, I'm sure uh, that, uh, you'll be, hopefully you might get some sleep tonight. Uh, and, uh, maybe. <laughs> And ready for the presentation on Monday. But yeah, look, everybody's enjoying uh, your work that you're doing over there. The feedback that you've been giving us on the Australian camp um, has been great. Uh, and also the work you've been doing in association with Roller Hockey Australia. It's a great man. effort. Um, along with uh, Joss, of course, the, uh, the name sponsor for this event. But um, any closing comments, Al, on that game? Um, I'm, I'm embarrassed. I always thought that China was going to be worried, but uh, so you were right. Yeah, I, I don't think it's... Uh, again... Just because it's a big score on there, you shouldn't think it was easy. I think the guys had to be careful in case someone got hurt. That's always, always important. But uh, yeah, I think it's just, it's just good that we got the win. I think it's about the winning, really, for us right now. We just want to keep things simple and stay to the strategy, mate. Absolutely, and the strategy is working well so far this, for the uh, campaign of uh, Australia with this uh, Asian roller games at the moment. And, um, you can see the uh, both teams out there. It's obviously some uh, good camaraderie around here. The, uh, the Australian team did have a great time. We were in Nanjing uh, over in China last year. So, um, yeah, there's a good friendly spirit with Chinese people and uh, we were thoroughly looked after Nanjing as well, I must say. Um, so, yeah, it's great to see the boys getting a photo taken together like that. But um, I'd like to basically just wind it up. I'd like to uh, thank you very much for Stick for coming in and uh, sitting with us for this session. Um, it's great to have his adjudication here watching some of the plays that are going on. Um, I'd like to thank you to Al- Alistair especially and the Drew crew for putting the broadcast together. Roller Hockey Australia, Josh Sport, and thank you to all of those people out there in the internet that are actually watching this feed, making it all worthwhile and um, making it actually fun. And we're loving the comments. Um, we really appreciate uh, any feedback you're giving us back. And uh, we look forward to uh, having a bit of a break day tomorrow. And uh, we'll join you on Wednesday for the... Uh, the Australian um, campaign against Macau. And uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for joining.